I'm at Linwood Cemetery. Just got done down there uh, checking out out of a different cemetery. Uh, I'm going to show you this one a little slower. It's a newer cemetery up here to the last one I was at. But there's something in here I want to show you guys. You guys don't uh, don't under you don't understand and probably don't won't understand until I get there. You see that big pillar there in front of me? I'm going to show you what's on there. But I'm going to give you a little bit of history about this pillar. It has on there, it has a lot of monument in Vietnam. I'm going to show you the whole way around it. But I'll tell you a little bit more history about it. See that? Uh, World War and Vietnam War. The War of the Great. Even has 1861, the War of the Great Rebellion on it. This is in Linwood Cemetery. Down here at the bottom here, they had the War with Mexico in 1848. And Michael, the one that passed on was in this area was Colonel Michael Sauer. It's going to get a little dark on this side because the sun ain't shining on it. But down at the bottom here has... I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it War of the Great uh, War of Great Britain, 1814. Otherwise, they call it the War of Great Britain, Britain, but otherwise the uh, British Indian War. There's the Gulf War, World War II. Upper World War II, up uh, up on top, Germany, Italy, and Japan. You would have to come down here and look it over. But I'm going to tell you something about this. Right there, 1776, War of the Revolution, 1783, Lieutenant William McElhatton, 12th Regiment, John Hall, Nicholas Quigley, and Philip Quig Quigley, and Sign. I mean, it's interesting. You come down here and uh, look at it, and you can look at the names and stuff. One of the columns which Here's the, here's the history. One of the columns which enclosed the front portico of the old Capitol building, erected at Harrisburg, PA, in the year 1820, removed to Linwood Cemetery, June 1898, erected May 12, 1900, as a memorial to the soldiers of Wayne Township, Clinton County, PA, who served in various wars of the United States. Yep, this is one of six pillars. One, there's one in Mac. Uh, I think there's one in the Macohatton Cemetery. Uh, not Macohatton. Where, where, where I'm in Macohatton right now. One I think at the Fort Cemetery and one in Jersey Shore Cemetery. I, I have to check that out. But I didn't. I didn't when I was through there, I didn't see it. Um, but there's three. There's three of them. They do not know where it's located. Where they're located. There were six all together on the Capitol. So I, it's like it's like a what you call it? It's like a uh, oh, a mystery, a gold, gold hunting mystery. But I'm going to show you a few more things in here. And this one's 1846 and 1823. John Hall Chatham, poet, naturalist, and historian. I have learned with the deepest. Re Regret of the death of, Chas of Mr. Chasson in sense of personal loss is real and deep. He was not only an outdoor man, but an outdoor poet. Those feeling for the beauty in the wilderness was keenly felt. The beauty in the wilderness was keenly felt and beautifully expresses many a nature lover throughout the Commonwealth will mourn his loss. Gifford Ringo. Ah, he's kind of a his historic person himself, Ringo is. Um, oh, this is a Chas I'm in the Chasm family tomb named after uh, the uh, Chasm run and the place Chasm down the road. Um, 
Because there's his uh, wife, Barbara Jane, his daughter, a daughter probably, I don't know if it's a wife, but Barbara Jane, Phoebe Dehas, Chasm, Bessie Gramley Chasm. Uh, but there's William D. Johnson, a uh, World War, a gunner mate in World War. I'm still still in Lidwood Cemetery. There's a lot of war war stuff. War. If you want to come down and look over these graves, there's a lot of uh, military people, and I showed you a couple of historic people that that's in this pl that's uh, in this place here. I mean, I wasn't expecting even to find the other cemetery, but you, down here below here. See that stop sign down there? The other cemetery uh, is down below. I'm not gonna do much more. I'm getting there where I need to go get something in my in me. So there's a lot of uh, World War veterans in this cemetery. Uh, a lot of firemen in this cemetery. That's what these uh, flags like that are. And a lot of historical stuff in this one down here in McElhatton, Linwood Cemetery. Well, you guys, I can, I'll show you this one part right here. I'll just take a quick trip across there, the road to go through. Well, I'm gonna, this is the last I'm going to show you the cemetery. I'm going to take a quick spin behind me. This is the road that goes through because it comes in over there by, by the old church I filmed a while ago. And go out over that side. Well, you come down and look this over, and I bet you guys, if you're a local historian, you would love coming down to that cemetery, even to read, even to read that, that pillar, right? There, that that's that Harrisburg Capitol pillar, which I would love to find all six of them. <laughs> but, you guys have a good day.